This video is a brief introduction to using solderless breadboards. I have here two different solderless breadboards and you can see some of the features are similar and some are different. A solderless breadboard will always consist of at least one row across the top and one row across the bottom. This breadboard has one row across the top, one across the bottom. This breadboard has two rows across the top and two rows across the bottom. The other feature of the breadboards is the same which is a whole series of columns through the center section. A column has five holes in it, and there's a series of those, and then again in the bottom half, another series of columns of five holes. The key to a breadboard is understanding the connections underneath the board. In the rows across the top and the bottom of the breadboard, there is a metal connecting piece that connects all of these holes in the top row together to each other. Similarly, there's a metal piece under the board that connects all of these holes to each other under the board. The center section is different. In the center section, the holes in the columns are connected together. So these five holes are connected to each other by a metal strip under the board. These five holes are connected to each other by a different metal strip under the board. Same thing in the bottom half. These five holes are connected to each other by a metal strip under the board. To show you what the metal strips under the board look like, I've peeled the back layer off of one of the boards. Please don't do this to your board, but this is what it looks like underneath. When you're ready to make connections using the breadboard, you'll need to insert wires or components into the holes. Let's talk about what's connected to what. If I insert this wire here, and a second wire here, are those wires connected? Yes, they are connected under the board because they are in the same vertical column in the center section of the board. What about now? Are these wires connected to each other? No, these wires are not connected to each other. They are in different columns and different columns are not electrically connected under the board. Suppose you wanted to insert an LED into the board. Would this be the correct way to put the component in? Would it be good to put both leads into the same column? Like this? No, that would not be a good idea because you have just connected those leads to each other underneath the board. The correct way to insert a component into the board is in different columns. This would be the correct way to insert a component. When you're ready to connect your LED to something else, the way to make the connection is to insert a wire in the same column as this lead. Now you have a wire connected to the right hand lead of the LED. If you insert a wire in the same column as the other lead, you now have a wire connected to this lead, and then you can continue like that. You can now put this wire over here and attach your next component into this column and continue building your circuit from there.